Good morning. My name is Melissa Ebkin and I'm the pastor of the Christian churches in Iliopolis and Niantic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries and outreach ministry to those who have interest in building their spiritual health and faith, but may not have a connection to a church and the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. And in that podcast, we encourage people to lean into the difficult life experiences that are in front of them so you can kick them out of your lives. So this morning, it's the day after Easter, and you might notice I'm not in my usual environment, and it's a little before 9 a.m. We had a death in the family, and we're traveling today for the visitation and funeral, so my schedule is a little off from what it usually is, but I did want to take a few minutes and hop on here and share a few thoughts with you. First, it's ironic when we have death, when we're celebrating resurrection. And then when we are at a funeral and embracing our grief over someone's death, we hear words of resurrection. And the truth is that the forces of life and death are always present within us. Those things always are together and you got to lean into one or the other and sometimes life forces us one way and sometimes life forces us the other but those forces of life and death are always within us and the more we can enable the forces of life of course the more vital and life like life filled life we're gonna have so today i want to talk about the voices that we listen to those forces of life and death are always with us and the voices of both are always crowding us out and there's so many voices in our modern world right now there's the voices of you're not good enough you have to be perfect this is what a perfect life looks like this is what you should be doing and then there are other voices that say just stop and breathe just stop and breathe those voices that say you are enough you were fearfully and wonderfully made, and you are enough just the way you are. So life is full of choices and voices, and we get to choose which voices we listen to. And I can tell you from my own experience, and I'm sure you can say the same from your own, that we have these voices in the back of our mind that were placed there since we were really young, from small being small kids, that that maybe hold us back a lot, that tell us, you know, you're not good at this, or maybe you shouldn't be doing that, or don't do this, you are not fit for this activity. I have some of those myself that I'm working on changing. So I would invite you this week to be mindful of the voices that get your attention, the voices that you incorporate into your reality and into your life, and what are you intentional about keeping in this precious real estate what stays in here gets hardwired into our lives and becomes part of our reality so that's what i've got for you today friends it's a short monday morning cuppa i realize that but i hope this encourages you and inspires you to be mindful of what you allow into your consciousness what you allow to be hardwired into your brain and the reality that you form and take with you. Choose voices of life. Choose voices that build you up. Bye for now.